hi everybody just wanted to make a video today to show some new people that have been asking about how to line your drills up in your trays i've got the small green one you also can get a small white one that comes standard in a lot of um, the kits i don't use these but um, some people use the bigger white ones that they buy and as you can see there's a marked difference in the sizes um, but I'm also going to show you too, this is a 3D printed tray, a lot sturdier. This one's a mini, you can get them in the larger size, but I, I prefer the minis. I like these ones particularly too because there's little plugs you can buy that go in the end and your drawers can't fall out while you're actually shaking them or while you're, just get the dog down, um, while you're sitting there because you can get bumped and like you saw I've got dogs so they do bump them so I'm just going to move the camera down because you don't need to see me you just need to see what I'm doing and I'm going to show you in all three different sizes so I'll start with the little one now I find with these little ones try not to overfill them because you don't have a lot of room to put them in so just put a few drills in there I've just got sort of that amount just give them a gentle shake you don't want to because these aren't very sturdy so don't shake them too much otherwise you're going to end up with them all on the floor so you can see there without me you can see that they're up the right way but what I usually do is just give it a bit of a tap and what you'll find is your drills will go down in a line and that makes them a little bit easier to pick up so that's that one. I personally wouldn't use the little trays if I had the choice because I find they're just too fiddly. They're too small. So we'll go to this bigger tray. So I can put a few more in here, obviously, because it's a bigger tray. It's going to be a little bit easier. So I've put that amount in. Don't mind my dog whinging there. She's 15 and she's not very well, I don't think. So just give it a bit of a shake. And I usually just give it a shake so the excess go down in the corner. Again, just tap the end of it. And as you can see, they are beautifully lined up. So that makes it so much easier to pick them up when you're actually doing your diamond painting. I'll try and get it a little bit closer without tipping them out. So that just makes it so much easier. Okay, I'm going to tip them into my archer's tray just to make them easier to tip. And this is another reason I love these. And I'll show you that in a moment. Well, I'll show you now. Take the plug out and I can then just tip them back into there because it's got a spout. So much easier. Okay, so in the archer's tray, I'm just going to put my plug back in. Again, I can put a reasonable amount in here because it's, it's a reasonable size tray. Okay, and you can see how many I've got in there. Give it a shake. I usually go sort of from one side to the other just to get a, get it, them in the grooves a little bit better on both sides and then just shake it back to one side so that the excess go in the corner. Again, give it a tap. You don't want to hit it too hard because otherwise you're going to knock them out. And again, beautifully lined up. You just avoid those other ones and then when you've sort of used those ones down, you'll just shake them up again. Give it a bit of a shake if you want to. You don't have to do that, but I just find it lines them up a little better, a bit better, and there you go. So that's the, the easiest way to do it. Just be mindful. Don't um, shake them too violently. You don't need to be violent with them. Just give them a gentle shake. Try to sort of get yourself a bigger tray if you can because those little ones, honestly, the amount of people that have spilt um, beads over the time is just insane and it's not nice when you get them all over the place as you've probably already found out so hopefully that will help a few of you bye